Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to assemble the tower, the escape tower that goes on top of the capsule. And for this, we're going to need um, some liquid uh, plastic cement. You can use the tube type, but it's a little bit stringy, but uh, this is what I prefer. Um, and a small paintbrush with a very fine tip on it. You'll also need some thick super glue and a pair of tweezers. I have a couple here just in case I drop one because you know I drop things. Uh, and you will also need the small tube here, which is the uh, escape motor tube that goes on the, the front of the rocket. So we're going to start with the, the tower pieces and for that you'll need the two pieces plus the little ring. We're going to start with the tower lattice and as you look into the pieces you'll see inside there's two small little tabs on each of these cross pieces and that's where the small ring is going to go. It's going to fit right in there. And I don't want to hold. It's going to fit right there. So to start, let's take some of the plastic models on that. And I'm going to Put a little bit on each of those little cross pieces. And we're going to stick the little ring right in there. apply some of the plastic model cement just to make sure that I got it covered. Okay. And while that's evaporating, take a look at the, the tops and the bottoms of the struts. You will see on one side it's very hard to see. There's a little post on one side and a small hole on the other side. And these align when you put the pieces together. So I want to I line them together and this one strut right here, which one is it? This one right here is, is broke, but once we glue this together, this will all meld together and it will be nice and strong. So I want to put the little ring in there. Holding it's the hardest part. See like right here is the little pin and the, the hole. So I'm going to put those together and kind of move them around until they grab. And once they grab and, and they're not sliding back and forth, that's when I want to hit it with glue. Okay, so I have it. I don't have it. There it is. Okay, so now I'm holding it and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of glue right there. Just let it wick in. And then I'm 
just flip it over and do the other side. So that one held. Once you get one side, it goes pretty quick. Okay, and now I want to check my little ring on the inside before I glue it all up. I want to get it into its little pieces, into those little crosses, and I'm going to hit all of those with a little bit of glue again because I can't remember which side had the glue on, so I'll just hit them all. I'm kind of squeezing the little ring so that it makes sure it catches. Okay, and then I'll continue gluing the struts together. Okay, so there's the little break, so now I'm going to hit that with some glue. Just squeeze it together. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. Just holding it with the tweezers to make sure that it, it melds together. Basically what the, the plastic model cement is doing is it melts a little bit on each side and so when they evaporates they're, they weld together. Okay, while that one is drying we'll go ahead and take the nozzles and fit them together. Just make sure that the tops are even. And then we'll hit, hit them with some glue as well. And these are going to go into the a little cap and on the bottom side you'll see a little cross piece and we'll stick that in there but I'm going to throw some plastic model cement in there first and then on the cross pieces and push them together and allow that to dry Now the hardest ones are the little RCS nozzles and this little piece is hard to pick up. This is one of the smallest plastic model pieces you'll ever buy. It will go into that little channel right there like that. You want to make sure that it's seated properly. And then you're going to hit it with 
with a little bit of glue. And then you're going to do the other side. Now the, um, the umbilical fairing, which is this piece here, gets attached to the outside of the capsule on this flat area right there. So that will be positioned like that. Oops, I get it wrong. So the skinny side goes on top of the capsule like that. I'll just hold it there. And then hit that with some glue. The rocket motor on the top will be glued on using thick super glue. So we'll take the tube, and this is the only tube that will fit on top of these parts. That's a nice snug fit, like that. So take some super glue and put it on the inside. Put the tube on and make sure it's on nice and straight. And then the nose cone, oops, will go on the top. We'll also put it on the inside. Like that. Now once the this tower structure has hardened. We're going to go ahead and trim up the ends. Uh, we want those ends to fit into the little holes on the base of the skirt on there. So take your hobby knife. We're going to kind of shave or whittle the top of those posts to get off any little burrs on the outside. You can see I'm using my finger for support to kind of hold it, being careful not to uh, slice into my finger. And do the back side too. This one has a big bump on it. You just cut that off. Okay, so let's test fit it. And this one. How big yet?
There we go. Okay, make sure that it's um, straight. Give it a spin. And then we're going to use the plastic model cement to glue those together. All right, then we're going to do the same on the capsule. These holes are bigger. Now you don't have to glue this on if you just want to have it on for decoration. You can just sit it on the capsule like that uh, for display. If you want to glue it on, this is the way you do it. Okay, just hold it there for a few seconds to let it weld itself together. Okay, our capsule is done, um, and now we'll move on to the next step.